This is actually interior paint and everything. Then your favorite bad bitch turned the whole world into a savage middle finger and all of my pictures just to remind y'all I ain't happy. Okay, so first of all, I have to pee, but we're gonna hold it. So, as you can see, look what I finally did. Look what I finally <laughs> I just unplugged my light. Hold on. Uh, okay, so look what I finally did. I don't Okay, let me tell you guys the story on how I just got this here in my humble abode. Knowing me, not thinking that I brought a four feet by eight feet piece of drywall. Most of them come like that. Well, most of them I've seen come like that. So I, I wasn't thinking. And I didn't have no way to actually get the drywall because obviously, as you guys know, I don't own a vehicle. I tried asking, nobody had a way to get me there. So, which when I say I tried asking, I only asked one person. So therefore, I was, well first I was dropping off donation clothes because I've been holding these donation clothes for the longest, for the past five to six months. It is January 3rd, by the way, 2023. Happy New Year's, guys. So I was gonna drop, drop those off. And then I'm like, okay, I just like, I had just got paid. So I was like, oh, I'm buying, buying, I'm buying this. Plus I brought another thing of paint. So I go to Lowe's with this little wagon that I take with me. It's like one of those, it's like one of these little wagons my grandma got. And I just use it every so often when I pick up packages or when I'm washing my clothes, going to the laundromat, whatever. So I'm taking this with me, you know, thinking, Oh, this about to fit in there. I'm about to have this in the room. Yada, yada, yada. So I'm waiting there for a little minute, minute. You know, I'm at Lowe's waiting for a little minute, minute because the uh, drywall was in a certain section and they had to go get it. And I'm just waiting there. It took like 15, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to go get it. When I see it, I'm like, whoa. How the fuck am I gonna walk back, hop on the bus with this and get home? Yeah. And I couldn't pick it up. Uh, yeah, that was not gonna work. So, me and, and one of the employees are like, "Okay, you could probably cut it down." And I'm like, mm, "I don't want to cut it down. It didn't not be the correct size that I needed to be, so I could put it, you no, know, in my wall." Then he was like, he was debating on trying to take me to my house, which literally, I'm only seven minutes away from a Lowe's. Seven minutes away. It's like I'm literally right around the corner from a Lowe's, from everything. I have a whole. I live right around the corner from a whole shopping center. So it was. I I didn't think it would have been a big deal, but you know how people are. So he was like, okay. he was like, what? Well, you should find somebody to you know get a ride. And while we're standing outside because we're trying to cut it outside, it was these two dudes packing it up. I think they had got cabinets or something. And you know me, I don't like asking nobody for anything. But when I need it done, I'm gonna need, need to ask somebody. So, me being bold, plus one of the guys was cute. I'm not even gonna say anything, they, he, he was cute. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ask them. In my head, I'm like, I'm gonna ask them. I walk up, so I'm like, excuse me, um, I have this big ass piece of fucking drywall. I didn't say it like that, obviously. But I'm like, I have this big piece of drywall and I really, I only live like literally right around the corner. Do you mind? taking me to my house so I can have this drywall at my home. Something like that. The one guy was like, mm, I don't know, because blah, 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 blah. And the other dude wasn't really speaking. He was like, uh, I'm like, we're just talking and chatting and blah, blah, blah. He's like, okay, cool, sure. Girl, finally, we got it here. They bring it, it in it. But they brought me to my house and went right around the corner. And I'm like, they got I am so grateful, thank God, because Jesus, I needed this. I needed this so much. And I can finally finish this room. Like this, this is the only reason why this room is not done, because of that. So I wasn't going to paint that half of the wall because I didn't have the drywall. Why the fuck would I paint that half of the wall and then not have the drywall? 
then I'm gonna fuck up the freshly painted wall to putty and everything this so it's here we have it period it's a big ass piece like when I say it's huge as fuck it's huge and do you see how small that hole is over there let me show you guys this hole so compare that to this big ass slab like what the fuck <laughs> I didn't need I literally only need like this corner like literally I literally only need a corner piece and I cut it perfectly so it shouldn't be a big hassle to put it in here so hopefully it's not and it's a very sturdy very sturdy piece of drywall the floor is horrible horrifying atrocious I mean this is from the fire but the, that needs sweeping cleaning scrubbing all of the good stuff <sighs> i hate that this fire fucked up my whole carpet because like <laughs> but i have a rug to fi fix that fix that whole thing up but yeah i got this is how the wall this is how i've been living this is the wall do you see how horrible this wall look first of all i didn't buy the right bait i brought like a sat it wasn't satin it was something else i don't know but it, i it, i don't think it was the right paint so i brought a new thing of paint which is that one right there i think it's let me see yeah this is actually interior paint and everything so this is the one i had i don't think i brought the right one though it says interior paint but i don't know and then you see my couch is right here i just threw it right there but hopefully we get this room together because girl i've been waiting a long long time Okay, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> Let me go get my bonnet real quick, cause girl. Okay. I'm trying to fix this to just look all flat. Oh well. It's been a few days since that first clip you guys have saw, and um, I've I've just been procrastinating, procrastinating. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. So today, today is the day, girl. Today is the day. All I need is a blade, girl. Uh, I'm gonna get a box cutter to cut it, but I don't think it's gonna cut it fully, but I'm gonna get a box cutter to cut it. So, I laid it down, as you guys saw. I measured it. I think it's like, I'm not, I don't know specifically how big the hole is, but I'm gonna say 39 and a half. I'll just say, I. that's what I measured it up to, 39 and a half. If I have to cut some more off, and I will, but um, I measured it up to 39 and a half. It's not that big of a hole, so I had to like lay it down. I'm it's, it's coming together, it's seeing some progress. Y'all see the wall is like half painted behind me, you know, it looks ridiculous, but it'll look better when it's finished. Um, I've been contemplating on getting me a new bed, not like the mattress part, but like the frame because I don't want that hairboard. I don't want a headboard period like i want i've been wanting like the one with the drawer storage and like no headboard and i know you can get that from ikea but i know it's like about like 300 dollars and in like six months we'll be moving they they're trying to move this year so i don't know what's gonna happen to be honest so i don't want to like invest in a bed have it built here and then end up moving you know so i was thinking about getting like one of those metal bed frames like the to hold the mattress up and everything but like it doesn't have storage it just has like it's kind of like the one i have now just no headboard and no uh football foot um uh, yeah that might be our next little project after we get the walls finished <laughs> is to get a bed frame and i also have like all my decor in my closet because i don't like my room being like clutter looking cluttery like it's not a mess most of the time it's normally just because like i'll be digging for stuff and never put it back or something so like when it is like cluttered it's just like stuff sitting in certain places that aren't supposed to be there i do have my shelf in there i haven't built it yet 
and I also do have my um my uh rug that I want in this room in there too and I don't know how big the rug is I never opened it I never opened it because I was like okay we're gonna we're gonna finish the room and then you know we're gonna put it down uh I had this rug since the beginning of last year so I've had it for a year now <laughs> This like whole room chest room, it was supposed to go, it was supposed to be done for real, for real by like before this new year, but things happen and I tend to procrastinate stuff and just don't feel like doing certain shit. So I've been wanting to get this room finished the past four months now and closest thing I've done was putty the holes and paint half, well, well one side of the wall, which isn't properly painted so we're gonna have to go over it anyway we're gonna go over the paint twice so we're gonna paint these walls twice because the color that i have like it's really like uh, the dark blue cannot the white can't cover that dark blue and that dark blue is not trying to get covered <laughs> so i'm trying to like you know fix that let's get let's just go ahead and you know cut this drywall see if i can find a box cutter because i did have one and then out of nowhere it disappeared so let's just go ahead okay girl you, i'm in my pjs i just woke up <laughs> i just woke up y'all saw how i was looking girl i was yesterday i was trying to do retwist my hair i got my hair parted in four sections as we speak and i've only finished one section <laughs> the struggle is real the struggle is real Let's just go ahead and get into this. Piece. You know, just in case we fuck up. <laughs> but yes, we got a here. Looking nice. I got a fucking line on my thing where I cut it at. Not to vacuum that it. But other than that, girl, I just gotta cut like another little a little piece off at the bottom because it's a little tall. It's a little tall. Like so. this is like compare that to that. This is how tall it is though. So that hole is not really that big. So yeah, don't mind the burns and all the fucked up carpet from the fire. That's still there. I just gotta try to vacuum my floor up too. So yeah, the carpet is really fucked up. I've been thinking about changing the carpet because of what the fire did to it. I should, but that's why I got the rug. So I'm not gonna do that. It's doing too much. I'm almost done. I just gotta cut that little piece off right there. But other than that, girl, it's coming together. Yeah, all this gotta get sweeped up. My house just because I trying to. I'm about to take a break because I ain't even hop in the shower yet. So yeah, yeah. Ooh, Jesus, he was coming on this camera looking crazy, but. Hey you guys, I just woke up. Um, I've been on my phone for a little bit, but I just woke up, so 
uh it's the next day and i finally installed and put the drywall in so it's looking really nice i'm gonna show you guys in a minute well i can show you guys this is how it's looking i did my thing i just gotta sand it now like you can see where the tape is i feel like i messed up a little bit because like i have like you see like right there at the bottom i have like holes right there because i crookedly cut the fucking drywall so i don't know yeah i'm just, i was thinking about putting the tape down there and see if i can like fix that in some way so yeah but other than that everything is on here looking good looking reasonable and once i sand this i can't wait to paint the whole room like it's coming together and i got two of my i got paint over there so i'm just that ready i gotta vacuum this floor look how dirty it is like, ew so yeah i'm gonna do that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just sand this a video i had stopped recording so i can watch a video and i realized i did the corner wrong so i watched that video and i replaced the corner piece i took the corner piece out filled in the hole like fill in the gap that was in, like in between the drywall that was already there and the one i just put in so that you know it could be filled in so i filled in the gap so i'm waiting for that to dry and then i'm gonna end up I have to fill up the gap first then i have to putty over i have to putty for like put the put a little bit of putty down for this so that this can stick onto that uh, access putty and then once i put that down it sticks on there and then i just like whatever access putty is on there i just press it down into there with the knife that i have and hopefully you know it'll stick and then it'll be basically done so yeah so that's what we're, we're i guess i can wait on that tomorrow because it takes a while for that to dry so i'm gonna let that dry and then i'll wait on that and do the corner piece tomorrow but you know it's getting there and i cannot wait to paint the whole room so see you guys tomorrow <laughs> hey you guys it's the next day and i did it off camera i did the corner off camera as you can see i put it the, the tape along the corner so i'm gonna let that dry and then like um last night my mom was telling me why don't you just like you know continue painting you know without bothering that piece so i guess i'm gonna just well not right now because i gotta go wash clothes but when i come back oh my eye i got i think i got drywall in my eye there's something in there girl girl i don't know but anyway i think i'm gonna just finish what i started over here and do this wall instead of like the corner piece over here and then i'm gonna try to get this wall done and then when you know that's done and said you know it's dry and everything then you know yeah but i'm gonna have to have somebody screw this down like it's because it's screwed up there it's like one piece of wood that's holding it up and it's screwed into the piece of wood that's screwed into the wall i have to have somebody i have to clean this area um out and then like take all the stuff i'm taking the mirror off of it because i can take the mirror off of it and then i'll just have somebody help me take it down because it's really heavy it's a really heavy uh vanity <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna have somebody take it down for me but yes oh let's go together period i'm about to be in here painting the whole room this whole day for real to be honest um yeah and once that's done, stinky food, cause I gotta, I gotta paint over this wall one more, one more again. And I was thinking about painting the wall with the, uh, with the thin paint that I got as a primer, and then painting over it again. So I'm gonna paint over it tomorrow, cause I'm up tomorrow too. So, and then finally, well, not finally, cause I'm gonna have to paint the ceiling too, because you know the smoke from the uh, fire is like you can see that. I tried to wash it off. It's not going to work. So, 
yeah we're gonna paint the ceiling as well but i'm gonna have to cover up my bed and my couch and everything else with some plastic and i do that so but yeah we're all going together and i'm period yes my my room about to be done by the end of this month period goal set you know I've been manifesting this for the past for the past two, three. I was like, we gotta get shit done. Like, and we getting it done. Period. No if ands or buts about it. Period. So yeah. So yeah, we're about to paint this room. Later that night.